Hello, Ruth here, and this is a uh, belated birthday present from my friend on Instagram. You can find her at Junkin Kuji. She does loads of Kuji's tickets and stuff for sale, other anime stuff for sale. It's very, oh, and some Disney stuff too, I think. But anyway, she's she's a very lovely person and very very lovely friend who we've made over the years. So <clears throat> I had to take a quick sneak peek because I was curious. <laughs> Which technically I don't know if you call that cheating or not. But anyway. This one thing here is not wrapped and we'll do this first. We should do the note first. Um, you know, as they say, you should always open your card before your present. So we look at the note first. Isn't it cute? She drew a little we were on there. Happy belated birthday. Uh, happy belated birthday once again. Sorry for standing so late. Yep. Hope everything's well for you. And she included Plushy over here because she's moving. Well, I'm moving to another place, so I thought to give you this. That's so sweet. So cute. It's a very nicely drawn remover, too. And very cute card captors washi tape you've put on here. Another thing to add to my washi tape scrapbook. Let's see, I think it's all the characters too. Let's see, Shara, Sakura, Tomoyo, Carol, Yukito, Yue. Is that another Shara? I guess so. <clears throat> so they're two different types of. I guess they're from two different roles, maybe? Oh, anyway. Another Sakura, they got. Ariel, Soupy, and, uh, what's her name? Ruby, yes. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to, uh, pick that out. I think I, yes, I have my book right here. So I'll put it in the washi tape scrapbook with the rest. I'm pretty sure I put it on a separate page. Because I have like a page full of the the other ones that she's given you. Like for instance, she wrapped the previous birthday one and that one. And I think this one was the year before that maybe. Also, uh, what was it? Mogi something or other in Final Fantasy. Yeah, so this is those ones. I do have a couple other ones from before that she put on my thing. Yes, this one that she did, the uh, chocobo one. Anyway, so let's see if I can fit this on. Hmm. I might, yes, I might have to cut it because it's too long. Or I'll just put it on a new page and put it sideways. Let's do that instead. Let's put it on a different page. Hmm. Let me just, hmm. I'll just put it on this page. go into my ooh, um, normal scrapbook with the other birthday related messages I believe I put in there. Oh, 
That's good. That's not as long as the other one. See? Ta-da! Very nice. I didn't notice. It does have a slight impressions of the characters down there. I can't remember if I only gave her a, a, a little mini set of a few of these before ages ago. But anyway, that's cute. Now, let's do this first so it's unwrapped. A cute remove right there. And that looks of it. It is a uh, a lanyard, I guess. Yeah. And this one shows you can attach your phone to it. That's nice. So I think I might actually attach my camera to it instead because it's the the string on my camera broke after so many times retying it, so I can attach this part to my camera. That'd be handy, because I have no string on it right now. Looks like it's been very comfortable as well. Oh, I can open it. Ah, oh, yes. Very comfortable. It's like a smooth fabric. It's got like a silk quality. I don't know if it is silk or not, but that's cool. Very nice. It's got all different Rimuru kind of pictures on it. That's amazing. That's a funny one. Oh, so that one as well. That's funny. Oh, that's cute. So I'll definitely be using this. There we go. I'm very sturdy. And it's, ah, you open it this way. Very nice. I'll show, hook it up to my camera later. Don't know, I'd have to take a picture with my phone to actually show you what it looks like. But this is very nice. It's a very nice size. Because it just, like the length is very nice actually. I thought it would be uh, longer by the looks. Because uh, like I'm a shorter person. But yeah, it comes right around the stomach area, which is good. Very nice. It's very comfortable as well. Very soft. So, thank you very much. Oh, that's funny too. Anyway, moving on. Just put that over there. So, this is beside the point. So, for the packaging, it's very nice, thick kind of cardstock, cardboard. So, technically, 
if I wanted to, which I might. I'm going to <laughs> cut this out <laughs> because I am just like that. <laughs> I mean, I could even use it as a mini print if I wanted to. I can stick it on my that way. I could even, yeah, it's a smooth kind of glossy in the back. So I could put tape on the back, stick it on my wall. Yes, I am more like that. I've acknowledged. Oop. Okay, so next up is you know, this thing. Whatever it is. The, uh, the anime name, and that time what reincarnated as for. It is a pouch of some kind. Well, let's take it out and have a look, shall we? That's cute. I mean, like, I'd be hand if I could read the label. <laughs> But, uh, ooh, actually has, ah, oh, it has English on it. That's handy. Huh, released by Muse Taiwan under Japanese approval. Okay, I haven't seen that label before. Anyway, it's a standing leather pencil case. Raw materials, polyurethane. Okay, not that I need to know. 8 by 18.5 centimeters. I'm guessing it's released is uh, 2019. I mean, not that it actually matters really, but that's cool. A standing pencil case. And it stands. Would you look at that? Anyway, let's see what's on it. So we got some magic circles, we got some sprinkle sparkles. We have a necklace, let's see. Is that Melon's necklace, maybe? I think so. Wait, maybe? I think. Oh, we have, as the name suggests, we got Soe. He's one of my favorites. We got Ranga, Rimuru, Melon. We got a high potion. We got something else. I think that's supposed to be honey. We got tea, or coffee. We got Shizu, and Shion. We got Shuna, and uh, is that tempura? <laughs> we got Benimaru. Very nice. So we have most of the basic characters, I guess. Oh, we got a pint of beer there, too. Nice! So, so as I was saying, we have the, the basic main characters that normally show up most of the time, so we don't actually have Hakuro or... And what was his name? The blacksmith guy. Uh, I forgot. I mean, he's not really in it very much. So I forgot his name. Oopsies. So anyway, it's too bad uh, Diablo is not on here, but still, it's awesome. Thank you. I can put pins in it. I mean, or I can even put a water bottle on it too, like a small one. But I've got plenty of arty stuff I could put in it. I could put some paint pens, some put my watercolor brush pens, I could put the pencils in it. You know, the general stuff. I mean, like, I've got sort of general stuff right here on this thing. It's like, my white ones. Is this white? No, that's the right one. Um, anyways, I got like, my white pants. I got... My black and my highlight. Uh, not highlights. Black and gold and fineliner stuff my basic 
pins. I don't know why I have this, but okay. This and a Gryffindor sword pen too. Anyway, that, that's besides the point. It's not even anything you do with this video. Okay, so this is cool. Actually, I probably wouldn't want to put a water bottle inside because it's more felty material on the inside, not waterproof. It's more waterproof on the outside. So I guess it would be good for pens. But like, for pencils, maybe not. I mean, if they had a cap, because you wouldn't want pencil marks on the inside, you know? Because that's what happens for colored pencils and pens. Yeah, colored pencils and normal pencils since they're not protected, like, they would, um, mark the inside, and you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't want it. So I'd probably leave it for pens. I mean, unless I could, maybe fit a, uh, small water bottle in there. But why I'd want to, when I'd have more steps to actually get to the water bottle and opening it? Probably not. But, like, for instance, a small bottle, you know, I can fit. Oh, thank you. That's good. I can fit a small bottle and pens around it. I haven't actually used this yet. I got it for my birthday. It's the, uh, used to blend colored pencils, wax pencils, and oil pastels. I still need to use that. In other words, I still need to actually color something. But anyway. That there for a sec. Okay, well, this is awesome. Anyway, I'm really tempted to keep this. You know, the, the suffering from the inside. I mean, I can use it for some arty thing or some packaging when I pack things, something. I don't know, I, I just reluctant to throw things away. You know me by now. I keep packaging of things. Okay, well, that's gonna go down there for now. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. Oh, and if I didn't see it clearly, it's got a little Rimuru right there, too. It is all shiny slime goodness. So cute. Yes, anyway. So that's that. You know, I actually never had a standing leather pencil case. I mean, I never bought one. Ever. Even as a kid, I never had one. I don't think so, right? Anyway. Moving on. He's so cute. He's got... I'm not even showing you. Let me move the camera this way. I don't know if that helps. But look at him, he's so cute. Though he looks really yellow right now. Why does he look yellow? Is my light weird? Let me try again. Does that look better? He's not yellow. That's good. Anyway, he's got a uh, ball chain thing to hang him up on. Ooh, I'm gonna see if I can hang him up on my... <laughs> Maybe I should see if I can hang him up up there. You see? I've got... I mean, I even got a duck out there, but uh, those little hooks, I don't know if they'd be able to take this, so I might just put him with the rest of my plushies over there. I don't have a plushie of him. He's so cute. Look at him. His little dangly legs. Hmm? His little smirky face. He's so cute. <laughs> One of those ones I just, I just lay there. He's so cute. Anyway, I don't think I actually said who he is, but... So he is one of my favorite characters from Tales of Vesperia. He is Yuri Lowell. As you see, I'm there. He's that guy. 
I actually have a uh, a blanket, a character blanket of him, as well as an acrylic stainer that this lovely friend of mine had gotten for me for my birthday years ago. And it uh, stays on my desk. Even when I'm going to, oh, yeah, I also have him down there too. See, little in the corner, a little sort of little guy over there too. So like, he was one of my favorites. He'll stay one of my favorites too. Even though I technically have lots more of that guy than I do. Let me just technically... Actually, I don't know when this video is going up. I think I'll squeeze it in somewhere. But technically, if you look at this guy, let me just... Isn't that so cool? A quicksand acrylic block. I mean, I think these are awesome to stare at and fiddle with. Cause I could do this for minutes. I don't know if I'd have enough tension span to do it for hours, but I do it for minutes. <laughs> it's just so cool. And I'm totally off tangent right now, but um, yes. Is, uh, let's see. Yes. Yuri Lowell is one of, I think he is my favorite character in um, Tales of Vesperia. Though, um, Finn's not that bad, I guess. Though, I don't really care for those two. But Judith is cool too, though. She's the, the blue haired one. If you ever play the game, it's taped closed. I mean, not that I really need to open it because I can't read a thing. I wonder, does it have actually anything else in there? I mean, it's got... QR code of some kind. Not that it really matters, because uh, this is eight years old. Ah, it's a... Uh, by the symbols, it was a crane game winning item. I wonder if she actually won it. That'd be cool. Anyway. Yes. He is so cute. Maybe instead of with the rest of my plushies, I might just put him... I might just keep him on the desk. So I can look at him. Or I can see if I can decide if I can hang him over there. I mean... Well, I am planning on getting shelves put in front of me. So the Funko Pops will be going somewhere else or on top of those shelves. Hopefully they won't completely fall over because, as you can see, my setup is a backdrop of Funko Pops, which is basically Sailor Moon and miscellaneous over there. But, um, yes. Hopefully we'll be, we'll be good. Hopefully. Maybe. I still need to measure. But, uh, anyway. Yeah. That, that, that's it. I went on a very, very many tangents in this video for some odd reason. But anyway, thank you so much. I really love them all. And like, when I go out, I show... Sorry, I'm, I'm being distracted by this little string of purple. Right, anyway, as I was saying. When I go out, I shall take that with me if I go out and color or draw stuff. It's been a while since I actually drew something. <laughs> or colored anything, actually. I should really get to it. But anyway, I'll definitely hook this up. Hook this up to my, uh, my camera. So I shall be using that every time I, need, I go out with my camera because I don't want to drop my camera. <laughs> yes, as you can see, I like it very much. Actually, those are the characters that are on the, the thing. They are. Anyway, yes, I'm distracting myself again. Would you look at that? I mean, it's just a normal occurrence. <laughs> anyway. 
that's it. So thank you so much again. I can't thank you enough. It's very cute and I really like them. It's a lot. And I'm so glad to hear that. I guess I think my present to you arrived around the same time. No idea when I'm uploading this though. Maybe in the next month sometime? I mean next month in September. Oh, um, I do have spot open in November, maybe? I'll have to look at my uploading schedule, but it's so cute. Look at his little smirky face. He's so cute. Now I'm just getting distracted a lot. That's a very cute drawing as well. So cute. Everything's so cute. Anyway, so thank you. I'm repeating myself, aren't I? Uh, let's see. Okay, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more. Ring the doorbell for notifications. Over and out.